Welcome, everybody. Did you know that India burns 3 billion liters of diesel to pump underground water to irrigate their crops? Massive pollution, which is heard of every time when you talk about New Delhi. In 2011, all that changed globally. The picture is India's first solar irrigation pump that our company designed that spawned India's solar pumping industry, which is about a billion dollar industry today. The map, every single green dot, is a solar irrigation pump installed remotely in a farmer's field. There are 10,000 of them. Seven and a half million liters of diesel are being replaced with solar, and 20,000 tons of CO2 are being avoided in emissions. While we were installing these pumps, we realized, wouldn't it be neat if the solar pumps could themselves go to the farmer? So we designed an electric vehicle with retrofitted solar panels and pump that a farmer could call and imagine a trolley goes to the farmer's fields, makes all the connections, irrigates their field, and comes back. More importantly, we built technology where everyone can do this using their smartphones. Even you and I can irrigate a farmer's field today using our phones. And while we were you know, engaged in agriculture, we really couldn't close our eyes to the massive amount of food that was being wasted, 60 billion to be precise. All this food waste actually releases methane, which is 20 times more greenhouse gas emissions than CO2. So what we designed is essentially use digital technology and created an app-only smart platform where farmers can sell us their produce. And on the other hand, we use the same technology to onboard city retailers to buy food from us, fruits and vegetables, and then used data algorithms, again, artificial intelligence, machine learning, to smartly match demand and supply, essentially driving down wastage to near zero. In the past six months, we have sold two million kilos of bananas and have brought the wastage down to near zero. <laughs> and you know, there's a little bit of tidbit here. When I was young, uh, a kid, my dad said that if you did not study, uh, you would be selling fruits and vegetables. <laughs> and that is exactly what I'm doing after two masters in MBA and MIT and IIT Bombay. So. <laughs> Many times, entrepreneurs in India are actually solving infrastructure problems. And oftentimes, that also becomes our solution. We use digital technology to deeper into agriculture and generate bottom-up data so I know today exactly which field and which farmer is producing what crops so that I can know in future how much of inventory of fruits and vegetables is available and neatly match it with the demand in the market, essentially future driving costs to zero. She does look happy. She should be. <laughs> she is one of the thousands of farmers who is now getting out of poverty because she has increased her income three times. What we're also happy about is we're actually bringing capital and impact and digital technology together at scale. We've always been profitable in our eight years of operation, and now our business is ready to scale. So thank you very much for listening to me.